one kilo. Yeah, one kilo. Okay. The Range Rover Valance. Check the retailer. A few weeks ago, Bodhi Santavi, the Canadian 96 kilo lifter, came to the UK to train. Staying only an hour's drive from me, I thought it would be worth coordinating to meet up for a heavy snatch workout, especially seeing as the guy is one of the greatest snatchers in the 96 kilo category. What he went on to do in this session was easily up there as one of the most impressive feats of snatching I've seen, bar watching Lasher snatch 210 kilos. Of course, I've seen some more impressive lifts in competition, but almost never in training in person. Of course, lifts like Oromnau's 190 from the training hall or Tatiana's 140 are incredible, especially because of the ease of the lift. But Bodhi actually snatched a higher percentage of the world record than anyone I've seen in person including Lasher. So before this session, Bodhi's training PR single was 180 kilos, just six kilos below Saurabh Muradi's world record of 186 kilos from the 2018 world champs in Ashgabat. So Bodhi, what's on the card today? Bare minimum 171 for a triple. For a triple. And uh, a slow triple. <laughs> but even so, yeah, maybe some, maybe, maybe, maybe some heavier singles. Uh -huh. And if I feel really good, then I'll go up a bit. Take a tack on Sarab's maybe. world record. Never know. Go for 176. I'm feeling it. 186, sorry. Yeah. Right. I would do 187. Well, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. It's worth noting that Bodhi is good friends with his fellow competitor Mezzo Hisona, the world silver medalist, against whom he's competed many times. And they regularly meet up for training camps also. I spent a lot of time with Mezzo and whilst he certainly has a clean and jerk that is unmatched by Bodhi, in the snatch they really are neck and neck. What I didn't realise when I met up with Bodhi for this session was that he and Mezzo had decided to compete against each other in the snatch, single and triple, despite being several thousand miles apart. I guess when you lift as much as they do, at least in Bodhi's case, you might have to look for someone outside of your continent to compete with. Perhaps Jonathan Rivas was busy that day. A few weeks prior, Bodhi had done what he refers to as a slow triple with 170 kilos. A slow triple being something that sits in between a triple and three singles. It's certainly slower than what most people would consider a triple, but certainly significantly faster than anyone would work through three singles, at least at that level. You could call it a cluster set, perhaps. If you're interested in the benefits of this type of training, we recently went over a few papers that look at the performance and technical benefits seen in the lifts when performed either back to back with 20 seconds rest or with 40 seconds rest, as well as what I've tentatively called the internal feedback fatigue paradox that comes with training the snatch and clean and jerk. It's all on the Weightlifting House podcast, I'll put links down below. Bodhi wanted to beat his previous 170 kilo slow triple PR, and then potentially work up to a new single record. His upcoming slow triple in this video at 172 kilos is about 92% of the world record. I mean, how many 96s in the world can do that? Sarab in shape can, 
Tian with straps and about 50 attempts probably can. But I don't think Mezzo can, and I doubt Rivas can. I doubt Plesnoy can either. Now I'm not saying that Bodhi is a better snatcher than them, I mean he's still yet to outsnatch all of those guys' best singles in competition, but just as a physical feat, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> Training alongside him today was Sarah Davies and Emily Campbell, two athletes who will be heading to Tokyo next year for the Olympics. I'll put their training session that was also littered with PRs up soon too. And they were all training at Atlas Weightlifting Club in Alfreton, home of two of the greatest, most respected legendary coaches in the UK, Cyril Martin and Dave Sawyer. Having been in the game for so long, particularly Cyril, they were both very pleased and excited to witness a new gym record in the snatch. Let's go! Yeah. Let's keep it going. One more. In Rome at the World Cup back in January, Bodhi's dad said to me that he wanted him to start catching low on the way up to heavy singles, rather than catching deep only when he needs to. He kind of cites this as the main reason for Bodhi's loss in the snatch against Pliesnoy at that competition. If you haven't checked out their incredible battle then make sure you do, but that's the reason that Sarah jokes about Bodhi's dad not being happy with that lift. For those of you who are interested, I uploaded a video of Bodhi snatching up to 160 kilos and clean and jerking heavy and back squatting heavy too to the Weightlifting House Patreon page about a month ago. So if you want to check that out, that's there. I'm also going to re upload a podcast that I recorded to Bodhi that was never actually released properly. I'll put that onto Patreon. I recorded that about a year and a half ago with him too. I'll put links to all of that in the description. 172 triple, man. So after the slow triple, I was able to convince him to go up to 176 and then ultimately a new personal best at 181 kilos, 399 pounds. What's next? Same. Same again. And then if you make it, maybe eight one. We'll see. We'll see. Seventy seven. What's that? Ninety one. I'm just. I'm gonna say to one. You're doing that. One, one kilo. Yeah. The very day that Bodhi did this, if you go onto Mezzo's Instagram page, you'll see a 175 kilo single. What's interesting about the single is that after catching it, he lowers the bar for another rep, but the video cuts off. I guess he tried to beat Bodhi, but he failed. On this day, Bodhi won, but the two of them will likely compete for many years to come, both in this weight class and a heavier one. <laughs> to add icing to the cake. Bodhi only weighed around 93 kilos. Yeah, that's it. Yes, that was a nice 
right, left is over. Oh, nice work.